Hi, my name is Rodrigo, and in this video today, we're going to be discussing the differences between the CISSP or the CASP Plus from the COMP CIA. We know that COMP CIA has created this new certification dedicated to more advanced professionals, but it is really worth it. And what would be the really difference if you decide to go and pursue your C certification or the CASP Plus? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Let's go! Of course, when we are talking about certifications, we need to be very precise on each which certification is the best for you. Depends on your level of experience, your expectations, either the job that you are pursuing or the current job that you have that are asking for you to take a specific certification. So you need to be very diligent on deciding which path we're going to need to follow. And today, let's try to discuss a little bit the differences between the C certification and the CASP+. But what I'm going to do today is go straight to their website and guide you through all the details that they have shared with us right amongst their, their systems, their website, so you can take like a real scenario on which would be the best situation for you. And here, let's take a look on the CompCIA website and information that you have from the CAS Plus. As you can see, they already state that the CompCIA, the CAS Plus, is an advanced level cybersecurity certification, right? Special for cybersecurity architects and senior security engineers but charged with leading and improving enterprise cybersecurity readiness. So, as you can see, they already said here, they already saying why is CAS Plus different? So, different from what? Seems like they are trying to get away from any comparison among different, uh, sort of the same thing type of certifications, right? Because they are saying that it's only hands-on, it's the only hands-on performance-based certifications for advanced practitioners, and you're gonna cover what this performance-based certification means. And they stated very clearly here uh, on bold, right? This is not for managers. So it's pretty clear that they want to get away from any comparison related to the CISP certification. And this information is super relevant also about the exam because the CAS 004 has been available from October this year. Before that, they had like a CASP 003, which different topics that they covered. They pretty much, they added more, more topics that are being covered on the CAS 004. And they stated again, right, this is an advance, they say exactly who should take this type of certification. It's important comparison that this is a approved certifications by the DOD, we know that the DOD, they have this very detailed list from each sort of level, each type of job that they have, which are the certifications that are most relevant for that specific job. So it's a very good uh, indication that the CAS Plus is a, a very serious certification if the DOD approves it as an uh, as requirements for some jobs within the DOD. And super important here to continue our comparing is that what skills would you learn? So right, about secu security architecture, governance, risk and compliance, security operations, security engineering, cryptography. So as you can see here, there are way less topics than the, the C specification covers normally on their, on their certification. And of course, some organizations that use CAS Plus as a target and the top job titles that normally would require or would be like a good fit to pursue the certification. We don't see anything related to management other than the SOC manager, which is weird. <laughs> the exam details, as I mentioned to you, the CASP uh, 004 has been available starting last month, right? By the time this video has been recorded, October 6th. And as you can see per the description, there are more things related to governance, risk, and compliance requirements that were not necessarily be covered on the CAS 003, which is a good indication, right? It's sad to see that they took like more than two years to update the certification, which concerns me a little bit, but hopefully that they can get more uh, updating, updated versions 
throughout the next years that they don't need to wait more than two years to do any any changes because we know that our our industry changes so much that it is a bit weird that they took so much time to change this kind of exams. Uh, this is a, a, a exam a little bit lighter than the CISP. This is only a 90 questions, even though this is a big one, right? 90 questions is not that easy to take because you're gonna have like 165 minutes to cover. But even though it's less, it's way less than the CISP, we're gonna see that the CISP, and you all know that the CISP has more than 150 questions that needs to be answered within three hours. So a less, you're gonna, you're gonna be tired less with this one. But one thing that concerns me a little bit about this certification is that the recommended experience. As you can see, they are recommending minimum of 10 years of general hands-on IT experience. What that means is that, of course, they are, they are saying that for you to pass your exam, you need to have this type of experience, but they are not requiring any proof that you have this experience, which is different from the CISP certification where you need to prove that you have more than five years, at least five years in more than two domains, right? In more than the eight domains that we have on that certification. Uh, if, you has, if you guys have checked other videos in, the channel, in this channel, you know that I'm fan of certifications that you need to prove previous experience. I think it gives more consistency on the, the type of professionals that are taking these certifications. But we also know that the C, the C specification, you don't need to, if you don't want to, if you cannot prove that the experiences is not a big deal, What's going to happen is that you can clear the exam, you can pass the exam, but you're going to receive an associated level. And unless you can prove or when you prove your five years of experience, you're going to earn your CISP certification. Uh, I would say this is a more robust and serious way to see certifications, but uh, this is my opinion. I would love to hear uh, your, your opinion on that. One other thing that I like to, to see in certification is that the retirement period, right? Usually three years after launch. So this is take, this makes people need to be continuous learning to keep their certifications, to keep this certification, otherwise it can get like outdated. Of course, the price is always a big thing. We see that it's a $46 in comparison to the C specification, the C specification is way more expensive than that. So of course, you need to put this into consideration if you want to dedicate your money, right, your effort, and money is always something that we need to put in the equation to make sure that you're gonna use, you're gonna get the certification for a purpose that you can get more money or you can land that your dream job. And they, as I mentioned to you, this is one thing that's very good, I would say, from the CAS, from the Comp Comp CIA, but it's pretty clear that they want to get, they don't want to get more comparisons among the other type of certifications. As you can see, they stated very clear about this performance-based questions that only CAS Plus has. The experience level, the ex they stated that it's the same level from the CIS, from ISACA, from ISC squared, the CISSP, but the focus is different. They put all the others like in the same category, cybersecurity management skills, which you know, we know this is true, but they want more. They want to be a little bit more compared with the GCED, but they are adding like the architect role, which is not stated here on the GCED. Uh, I would say this is and I don't want to say this is purely marketing, right? Because it's not, we know this information are accurate, but it's pretty clear that once they stated that in their website, it's because they want to create this type of comparison, meaning that they don't want to be comparing the same level of the other certifications. They want to be seen as an advanced level for, but for different professionals, which is a smart way to, to position a new certification. Uh, this website is amazing, actually. We do have some preparation mater material, so this is kudos for CompTIA. But 
what I would like to show to you is that the type of questions can change a little bit, right? We are talking about multiple choices and big performance-based questions. And it's a very interesting way because they can, you can see some samples of this type of questions. As you can see, this is a very hands-on, I would say very different from the type of questions that you can see on the certification because you need to take actions on to answer those those questions, which I, find, I found amazing. But of course, if you are a more technical person, if you are pursuing a more technical career, we know that a manager on, on the CISO level or IT director or director of security, they don't need necessarily, you're gonna be using this type of scenarios in their daily jobs. But moving on to the CISP certification website. Go straight to the certification, right? The CISP certification. You're gonna see many other type of information, right? There is some price for online training, which for me is it's a little bit weird when you're talking about certification. The first thing that they are asking you is to get some online training. So I would say to, to leave this option to take their courses, their training, but to the end, right? For the people who are really pursuing that, not necessarily trying to force us uh, to take their online training. And this is a very interesting point, right? They normally add how much a CIS certificated professional can make, right? They are over average salary. We know that is a pretty good salary. You're not know, talking about cybersecurity world with the CISP certification, right? And it, of course, they sustain all these numbers based on all other type or other sources of reports, not as resource from uh, the ISC square, which is good, provide trust, trust, a trust situation, right, for everyone which is very good, but it seems like they are forcing everyone to see the salary to get some online training just to, to open their eyes that they can earn more money. But this is okay, this is marketing, they earn, they earn money with that, right? So who earns this certification? Many, many more roles, right, than we saw on the CAS Plus, but even though they considering roles as security architect, security analyst, network architect, but not necessarily from a technical perspective, right? For probably more their team lead or people that want to jump in a more management position. Everyone, of course, in cybersecurity wants to meet the DOD directives. So this is a pretty important step. And the, the domains we saw that we have way more domains in the certification that we had on the CAS Plus, but we do have an explanation for that. And to get certified, we know the experience requirements. And if you don't have the experience, you can still pass the exam and became, become an associate. And then you can continue proving or sharing your work experience so you can get your final C certification exam. There is, of course, a, a very tough endorsement process that someone with the C specification needs to endorse your work your certification, maintenance fee to be paid, of course, in a lot of CPs that you need to continue getting throughout the years to keep your certification. Guys, of course, there is no one size fits all solution or proposal that I can share with you. It's gonna really depends where you are today and the path that you want to follow. But of course, both certifications are great options for you. Uh, I would lean towards a little bit to the C certification if you're talking about management, of course. If you are uh, on, you don't, have, you cannot prove five years of experience, probably either you go to the CAS Plus or you take the C certification and get the associate level and then pursue the C certification with the your, Z, your years of experience in the near future. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, please 